Okay, let us start quiz 11, question five. Home hardware paid $75 for a particular type of drill. Expenses are 11% of cost and the profit is 15% of cost. What is the regular selling price? All right, so there we are. Quiz 11, question five. We would like to find the selling price and we are given the, the cost. That is the cost, $75, and we're given expenses, all right? As a percentage of the cost, and we're also given profit as a percentage of the cost. Okay, so what shall we do? Well, we go to the formula sheet. We are given, okay, here we have uh, selling price, this cost plus expenses plus the profit, correct? All right, so that is what we will use. S is equal to C plus E plus P. So there we are. So S is equal to C plus E plus P, cost plus expenses plus profit. All right, so what are we given? We're given the cost is $75. Okay, the expenses is 11% of cost, which is 0 0.11 times 75. All right, and that we can evaluate also but we will leave that for now and we will go to the we'll go to the next item which is the profit and that is 0 0.15 times the cost which is 75 also okay so let's go to the next line so what is we could write it again, S is equal to C plus E plus P, but let's put the numbers in. So what do we get? Well, the cost is $75. Expense is what? 0 0.11 times 75, and the profit is 0. 1, 5 times 75. All right, so let's evaluate them individually. So S is equal to 75 plus, all right, 0 point, so point 0.11 times 75 is equal to what? 8.25, so we put in 8.25 plus, all right, another way of doing the percentage, we could put the 75 and then we could say multiply it by 15%. That converts it to a decimal and the answer is 11.25. Okay, so those are the numbers. All right, we could use our calculator and we could add them all up. And what would we get? Well, let's see what we get. We have the 11.25, so we can just keep adding, going from right to left, plus 8.25 plus 75, and that gives us a grand total of 94.50. So that is the regular selling price, 94.50. And there we are, that is the answer. We will highlight it now in green. 94.50. So let's go here and enter the number 94.50. All right, if the drill is sold at cost, what is the resulting profit or loss? Use a negative sign if there is a loss. Okay, so let's do that part of the question now. 
All right, it is sold at cost. What is the resulting profit or loss? All right, so uh, what do we have here? Well, we're still using the same formula or equation. S is equal to C plus E plus P. Now we know the number if it is sold at cost. All right, so it's sold at cost. So S is equal to, all right, the drill is sold at cost. So we should maybe highlight that so we know what the value of S is. So we can go in here and put S is now equal to what? 75, correct? Yes, that was the value of S. Now we have the value for E, the expenses. We've done that before and the number is right here, 8.25, which goes from expenses 0.1, 1 times 75, and that results in this number right here of 8.25. All right, what else do we know? Well, what is the resulting profit or loss? Now, we also know one other item which we didn't put in here, and that was that the, the cost is equal to, is equal to $75, correct, yes. All right, so there are our numbers. That's the information, and now we would like to compute the resulting profit or loss. So S is 75. We put the numbers in. The cost is 75 plus expenses is 8.25, and then plus the profit or loss. Okay, so let's keep going. We'll get 75. We could put minus 75 minus 8.25 is equal to P. So what is the P equal to? Well, P would be equal to negative 8.25. You see these two right here, 75 minus 75 will be zero, we could put zero minus 8.25, which results next line, sorry about that. Let's go to the end. That was result in the profit being a negative number, 8.25, which means that it is a, it is a loss, yes, 8.25 is a loss. That is why it is negative. So there we are, 8.25 negative. So use a negative, there's a loss and there is a loss, 8.25. We submit and our answers are correct. So that is quiz 11, question